All right, so let's recap this 2022 World Series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Houston Astros. For game one, it would be the experienced Astros who would score the World Series first run after their right fielder, Kyle Tucker, hit a solo home run to right field. It was a one to nothing Stroh's lead after that shot. Then, two innings later in the third, Tucker would strike again as he sent another ball over the right field wall. This time, his home run played it three runs making it a 5 to nothing Astros lead. However, Philly would tie the game at 5 after a double from JT Realmuto in their half of the 5th. Now from this point on, the game remained tied until the top of the 10th as the Philly catcher came through again, popping a solo shot the opposite way. Realmuto's blast made it a 6-5 to Philadelphia lead. And that's how game one would end. The Phillies would win the ball game by that score of 6-5 to five and take a one game to nothing lead in the series. Now in game two, the Astros would get out to the early 3 to nothing lead thanks to two RBI doubles by Pena and Alvarez. Not to mention a third run crossed home plate after Gurriel reached base following a throwing error by the shortstop Amundo Sosa. Then in the fifth, the home team added two more runs following an Alex Bregman home run into the Crawford boxes. Now although the Phillies were able to avoid the shutout in the seventh after Gene Segura hit a sack fly to left that scored Castellanos, they were unable to avoid the loss as they dropped game two, five to two. Game 3 was a slugfest for Philly hitters as their offense sent 5 balls over the wall against Lance McCullers Jr. As home run number 1 came off the bat of 2021 NL MVP Bryce Harper. Then home run number 2 was sent over the wall by Philly favorite Alec Baum. And by the way, that home run by Baum was the 1,000th home run ever hit in World Series history. Then following that blast, a caveman swinging a club sent the third ball over the wall. That would be center fielder Brandon Marsh. This would make it a 4 to nothing Philly lead. Now just two innings later in the fifth, Philadelphia was able to rack up three more runs on another pair of dingers. First, Kyle Schwarber sent a two-run missile to center field. Then a batter later, Reese Hoskins sent a screamer into the sea of red and left. This made it a 7 to nothing Philly lead. And that's how Game 3 would end. Philadelphia won the game by that score of 7 to nothing thanks to the offensive explosion. Now Game 4 of the World Series. The scoring started in the 5th thanks to Yodarn Alvarez getting hit by a pitch. This scored Chaz McCormick. Then a batter later, Bregman cleared the bases as he roped a double down the right field line. This scored Altuve and Pena. Next, Tucker. He had a sack fly to center. That scored Alvarez to make it 4 to nothing Astros. And finally, Houston plated their fifth run following a Gurriel RBI single to left, scoring Alex Bregman. Now let's jump to the pitching portion of this game as the entire Astros pitching staff was on point throughout. As first, starting pitcher Christian Javier tossed six innings of no-hit baseball. Then the Astros went to their bullpen as Javier was relieved by Brian Abreu who worked a hitless seventh. Now Rafael Montero came out in the eighth and surrendered zero hits. And finally, the Astros called on Ryan Presley to close out history, and he did, as he worked a hitless ninth inning. Now this completed the second ever no-hitter in World Series history, and the third ever no-hitter in postseason history. Now ironically, the last postseason no-hitter occurred in Philadelphia, back in the 2010 NLDS by the late, great Roy Holiday. As we move to Game 5, both teams would score during their first go-around at the plate as the Astros' Jeremy Pena smacked a ground ball into center field that scored Jose Altuve from third base. Then in the bottom half of the inning, the Phillies were also able to scratch across their first run. However, it was in more dramatic fashion because Kyle Schwarber hit a bomb to right field to tie the game up at 1. Now moving on into the 4th, Jeremy Pena continued to make his case 
for World Series MVP as he was responsible for putting up the Astros' second run of the game via a solo home run to left. This made it 2-1 to one Houston. Next, the Astros added some insurance in the 8th as El Tuve scored on an Alvarez ground out to first base. It was 3-1 to one Astros following this play. However, in the bottom half of that inning, the Phillies tried to claw their way back following a Segura RBI single to right that scored Castellanos, which made it 3-2 to two Houston. But unfortunately, the Phillies could not complete the comeback as they would come up a run short and fall to the Astros in Game 5 by the score of 3-2. to two. Now in Game 6, the scoring started in the top of the 6 following a Kyle Schwarber solo home run to right. This put Philadelphia on the board 1 to nothing. However, the Astros would respond quickly and in a big way as their most fierce hitter, Yodarn Alvarez, hit a 450-foot bomb over the batter's eye in center in the bottom half of the six to put the Astros ahead by two. It was 3-1 to one Houston. Then, three batters later, Vasquez came through as he shot an RBI single into left field. Bregman scored on the play to make it a three-run Astros advantage. And that's how Game 6 and the World Series would end. The Astros would close out the Phillies to clinch their second World Series in franchise history. So I hope you guys enjoyed this World Series recap video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more great baseball content throughout the offseason, I will be on top of it. And again, um, just want to say congratulations to the 2022 World Series champions, Houston Astros.